In today's video, we're going to take a close look at these frameless windows. We're going to talk about maintenance and repairs that may come up from time to time, and Linda's going to talk about a quick hack to keep these emergency windows from slamming shut. Now we're going to start this video off with a bang, which is the sound this window makes in the middle of the night when Troy the dog slam it shut. Well, I went online here recently and I saw somebody talking about a simple, easy hack that I wish I had thought of. It involves half a clothespin. Break it apart and then it'll slide right into the hole here where the metal arm goes in and now won't slam shut. And it's easy to remove if you actually had to use it as an emergency window. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is maintenance. Um, while we haven't had any problems with these windows, we have seen people that have. So there are always three things that we do to maintain them and one thing we always check before we get on the road. So the first step to maintaining these windows for us is to pop the screen out and make sure we clean the inside of the windows so that it seats well against the weather stripping. Now the next step is I'm going to apply this window and track dry lube to this little channel inside the window where these wheels run back and forth. Helps them operate much smoother. The next step we're going to do is I'm going to apply this 303 protectant to the weather stripping that runs around the inside seam of this window. Two things it's going to help with. One, it's going to help the window to release from the weather stripping without sticking. Number two is it's going to keep the weather stripping real pliable so it doesn't dry run, deteriorate over time. Both this 303 protectant and the dry track loop can be found at almost any Walmart everywhere. What's become part of our departure checklist is we do a quick examination of all the windows around the camper, running our hands around the edge to make sure there's no nicks or chips or anything that looks like it's going to cause damage before we get on the road because that's one of the things when you travel that can cause a window to shatter. So there you have what we do to you know, kind of keep the windows in good working order. But even with good maintenance, there is always the chance a repair will be needed. So the first repair that we're going to talk about is what to do if you have a shattered window. So on the road, the first thing we're going to do is probably head on down to a home improvement store and get some type of uh, thick cardboard or foam board and some plastic and some tape and go ahead and secure it. And the second thing we're going to do is figure out where we can buy one from. Okay, so there are two places that you can get the window from that we have found. Um, the first is from the manufacturer directly. You can contact Forest River, give them your VIN number, and they can ship you a new window. Now, a couple of years ago, while we were still under warranty, we noticed some of the tint wearing off one of our windows. So we did contact them, and with our dealer, we ended up getting a new window assembly the whole, the whole pieces and parts. We've never put it in because the tint didn't get worse and so we kept the window back just in case. Um, but if you didn't want this whole assembly, um, which Troy's gonna show you in a minute, you really don't need if it's just the glass that broke. Um, the second place that I found this week is Rec Pro. It, the, they have frameless window glass on there. They look identical, they are the same sizes. So I'm gonna leave that link down um, in the description. So if you are looking, if you have a broken window and you need a place, um, I would look there as well. But right now, Troy is gonna show you why if you do have a shattered window, you get that new window, it's really just a two minute fix from there. Here's the window the dealer sent us. I'm gonna show you first the back side of the window. I've removed one of the screens so that you can see the inside. When you flip it around, this is what you see on the outside with the protective film and all that mess still attached to it. This is the kitchen window from our camper, so we have two active panels of glass. In this particular frame, we have one, two, three screws. Whichever, hopefully you've only broken one of these panels, and if that's the case, you've got to pull this screw and this screw, or this screw and this screw, to, so to slide the glass panel out, whatever's left of whatever isn't broken out by now and then slide the new panel back in. Last year we did a video where we cut off some of the plastic insert inside the window track to get more airflow. This is the video if you haven't seen it. We're going to flash back to that video so you can see how I took the window off and on for that mod. First is to remove the screws at the top of the window. Then carefully slide the broken window free. You may need two hands. Then slide the new window in. You will need to fit that plastic piece back into the track. 
and line up the wheels on the metal arms. Finish by sliding it in and reattach the screws. You are done. So, one of the reasons the window might shatter is because the handle um, is stripped out. So, if those windows aren't fully closed while you're going down the road, they could rattle and cause the shattering. So, that's one of the reasons we do the maintenance that Troy showed you is because we keep the windows nice and clean so they don't stick. And it, when they do that, it causes us to have to turn that knob a little bit harder and it could strip out. So what we've done is bought a couple of replacement knobs to keep in the camper. These are from Rec Pro. They're about $10 each um, for the two pack. And right now, Troy's gonna show you if yours are stripped out, how this is another two minute fix. For the purposes of this video, let's pretend this knob is stripped out and it's time to replace it. It's real simple. Just hold on to the knob, gently unthread it. Okay. Pull the knob off. Push the new knob in. Hold it snugly in and then run it up. Don't over tighten it, just make it snug. You don't want to strip out the threads on the knob. One suggestion, I'd make sure you put the knob on and make sure that the knob is nice and level with the plane of the frame when you get done and it's super tight and it's all the way in. That way when the blind comes down, you don't, it doesn't make the blind sit weird. Okay, now the third repair are to these metal arms that um, crank the window out. Again, this is not something that we've had a problem with yet, but one of our viewers has. So we want to give a shout out to Donald because he was kind enough to send us all the information of how he sourced the parts online and what he did to do the fix. So we're going to talk about that right now. So he ordered the part from Poland Enterprises and he said it was about $50 um, plus shipping for the part. Now the one thing it didn't come with is the little handle that we just showed you that we got two of from RecPro. So if this happens to you and you need to replace that metal arm, make sure that you hold back that handle and the screw so you can reattach it afterwards. One of our viewers and fellow GeoPro owners sent us this information. It was really helpful. Thank you, Donald. In the situation where you had to replace these metal bars that push the window in and out, it's doable. It's not real complicated. First thing you want to do is take this knob off and save it for later. There's two pop rivets right here that hold this whole assembly to the frame. You want to go ahead and drill it out with a 3 16 drill bit. You want to go ahead and take them out, drill them through, pop the remnant piece off the back. Then you want to push through two stainless bolts with nylon lock nuts on the back, tighten it up, make it just like it was before, put the knob back on, and now you've solved the problem without having to replace the whole window. Thanks again, Donald, and all of the viewers that give us all the feedback. It's really what we enjoy the most, and it really helps us to kind of disseminate information out there and help all of you. Okay, guys, that is it for today. If you like the video and you'd like to see more upcoming, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And remember, Desi always wants you to hit that notification bell.